Marianne and I'm talking to you from the virtual Benedetti sessions. I hope you all had a great first week. Welcome to the second warm up for beginner cello. This time we're going to warm up without our cellos. So if mums and dads can just make sure that cellos are out of the way, don't want any accidents. So let's start by freeing up the neck and shoulder area. Now these are very common places to get tension, to get a bit sore. So it's really important that we take care of our bodies. So first of all, let's start by shaking our heads. And nodding our heads. And a few neck rolls, maybe two each way. And the other way. some shoulder rotations. Make sure you can feel all the muscles in your arms and in your back working really hard when you do this one. And the other way. And then let's do wiggly worm. Now if you don't know what wiggly worm is, uh, you just have to imagine you're a worm wiggling around in some soil. Just loosens up the body. Now I want you all to imagine that you are a chicken on a farm and I want you to start flapping your wings slowly at first. So this one's called calm chicken. This chicken's got no problems, he or she is easy going, life's a breeze. And then we're going to switch to being stressed chicken. Now this chicken, something's bothering this chicken, its feathers are all in a ruffle. And let's go back to calm chicken. Okay, now you're probably thinking I'm a bit mad, which is 50% true. I'll be kind, 30% true. <laughs> um, but actually, um, doing that exercise, whether you want to pretend you're a chicken or, or, or not, but just doing that motion, it really gets all the muscles working and warmed up that we use to play the cello. The back muscles, the arm muscles, everything. It's really, really good to do before you play. So let's finish the warm up with a shake and wiggle. So a shake and wiggle. Shake and wiggle. Uh, top tip, the shake and wiggle is a really good one to do if um, after playing, you feel a little bit tired, feel a little bit achy. Um, or especially when you first start playing the cello because the cello is a really big and really physical instrument and especially when you're um, younger it can be really tiring and the body has to get used to it so the shake and wiggle is really good because it just gets the blood pumping back around our bodies and stops our hands and our arms from feeling stiff so the last thing I'm going to talk to you today in this about today in this warm-up is the bow hold. So drop both arms down the side, then lift up the right arm, make sure it's relaxed and drop the arm like this. And we'll do it once more, shake the arms, make sure they're relaxed, you can feel that they're heavy, lift the right arm and drop. Now this is a really good point to start for a relaxed bow hold. As you can see the fingers are all spaced out, the thumb nicely behind. So I'm going to teach you a little song. Um, I didn't make it up, you'll know it very well. I've just replaced one of the words. So I'll sing it first, join in if you want, and then you can do it at home. So a one, two, one, two, three, four. Heads, shoulders, knees and bows, knees and bows. Heads, shoulders, knees and bows, knees and bows, and eyes and ears, and mouth and bows. Heads, shoulders, knees and bows, knees and bows. Great! So you can do any of those warm-ups at home in any order. You don't have to do them all every day, you can just do one or two, um, but they're really good to do before you play because it's really important. We're like 
sports men and women. We really have to warm up because what we're doing is really, really physical and it's really, really tiring. And we're using all the muscles in our body. So it's important to make sure that you are fully warmed up. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is ask you to pick up your bows. So with the left hand, hold it at the point. And we're just going to do that little exercise on the bow. So we shake the right hand, so our bow hand, bring it up and drop it down on the bow. Then you're just going to comfortably put your thumb in the little groove, as you can see, here. And we've got the fingers nicely spaced out. The little finger, well, you can have it above that little circle or on it, depending on your hand, and make sure that your fingers are touching the bottom of the bow. And there you have it. That's a lovely way to warm up for your relaxed bow hold.